In this video, we're going to talk about some of the key features of the advanced pie and donut chart by XBiz. To get us started, we're looking at a basic donut representation, but if we go to the formatting options under chart options and chart type, we'll see all the different types available to us. We have a pie chart, a semicircle pie, an arc donut chart where we can set that start and end angle. We even have a variable width pie, which we will need to add another value here to the radius value. I'm gonna go ahead and take my orders measure and throw it in the radius value. So now this visual has a variable radius based on this new measure. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that radius value and go to my formatting options under chart options. We also have the ability to turn this into a 3D visual and we can even show that as a 3D pie. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn 3D off and turn this back to a donut chart. We can also create ranking on the fly with the utility menu. Just click on the gear and then ranking. We can set a top number of categories that we wanna show and show the rest as others. So I'm going to look for the top three categories and show the rest as others. Click submit. And now we show our three categories and an other section here as well. Also in the formatting, if we scroll down, we'll see this section for total. Let's turn that on and we can see that total directly in the middle of the donut chart. We can choose to display the value or the value and text as well. That's going to by default show us the measure name. We can change that to be a custom value if we want. So instead of total revenue, let's instead say revenue. And we can format that text to our liking. We can also format each individual section here. So if I scroll up, I will have a styling option here. We can set the styling for that specific others category, or we can turn on the styling for all. And we can set the individual styling patterns for the other categories. I can change novelty shop, for instance, to a dot or maybe a diamond. You can change these each individually for all of the different series. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the styling for all. There's also an option to set gradient coloring. So we just need to find the data colors section and turn on the gradient coloring. And this is going to create that kind of shadowed gradient effect. Now let's add data labels to this donut chart. Let's scroll down until we see data labels. I'll go ahead and turn that on and those data labels will start to show up. Open that up and we can change the display from category to data value, percent of total, or show them all at the same time. I'll go ahead and show all of my data values. We can change the font color, the font size, and change that placement to be outside or inside. I'll leave it on outside. We can show overlapping labels. We can even change the selector line to show as a single color or each individual color of the slice. Finally, I'll add conditional formatting to this donut chart with the conditional formatting icon here. I'll add a new rule and I'm going to color every section red that falls underneath a certain threshold. So if my total revenue is less than, let's say 100 million, I'll color that red. Let's go ahead and click save and that new rule will be applied. So those two slices that are not a part of the others category will show up as red. We can click that yellow X and our conditional formatting will be applied to our chart. These are some of the key features of the advanced pie and donut chart by XVIZ.